In today's video, which is uh, the R130 process on uh, video number 15, we're going to talk about the affidavit of support. If it's something you want to know, just stay tuned and I'll be right back. USA Monda. Good morning, good morning, my beautiful people. This is John from USA Monda. Welcome back and thanks for watching. If it's your first time on my channel, as always, Welcome here. I help newcomers, permanent resident, and also US citizens regarding their immigration issues. Sometimes I give advice to newcomers to United States of America regarding what you do, what not to do to have a better life here. It can be financial advice, it can be personal development advice, it can be small business advice. Okay, I do that once in a while. But today's video is about the affidavit of support. Some of you guys who are petitioner, you know that. Uh, once your I-130 petition is approved, at one point you will file the affidavit of support. You will fill up the affidavit of support form and submit them either to USCIS or NVC National Visa Center. Now, people ask me a question, where can they find the affidavit of support form? Well, there are, first of all, there are three types of affidavit of support form. We have IA64, we have IA64A, and then we have IA64EZ, okay? So to find those forms, you will go to USCIS.gov uh, website, or you can just uh, Google it, IA64 form or IA64 easy form or IA64 a form but make sure the link you click on is the uscis.gov link because there is a lot of website out there uh, with those forms and they, they might ask you to pay fees no those forms are free okay or the best thing to do just go to uscis.gov and then once you're on the page and just search for IA64 a 64 easy or a 64 a now you will download the form fill it out make sure you sign it and date it okay you can fill it up on, on you know on, in your computer also and print it out and, and sign it okay that's how you do it now at the end of this video i'm going to show you exactly how the form looks like i'm not going to go over the form like show you exactly how to fill it up because there is a lot of video on youtube uh, that shows you uh, how to fill up on those form okay so now people ask me question you know when you know that you're gonna file a 64 when you know that you're gonna file a 64 easy and when to file a 64 a before uh, we used to have a 64 w as well but a 64 w is no longer required okay don't don't fill up that form actually you can't even find that form online no more you know they remove it because it's no longer required so now for a 64 easy okay a 64 easy basically you know based on nvc is a form for people who are petitioner who petition for their relative and uh, they petition for only that relative on, on, on the I-130 uh, form. And also, they will use uh, their income, only their income to sponsor that relative. Meaning that they don't need a joint sponsor to sponsor on that relative. If you're in that category, you will file IA64EZ. And like I said, based on uh, NVC information. But when you file IA64 itself, well... If you file um, a petition for, let's say, two or more relatives and uh, you meet the income requirement, you can file a 64 okay? But in case you don't meet the income requirement, you're going to need a joint sponsor, you will file a 64 uh, uh, as well. And then also, if you're going to need a, a household member, then you will file an IAC form in that case, you the petitioner. And then uh, your joint sponsor will file the same affidavit to support uh, 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 as you. And then if you use a household member, then that household member will use an IAC64A, okay? I don't want you to get confused, okay? So in those situations, yes, you're going to file an IAC64, okay? So basically, if you're going to use... A joint sponsor you're gonna use uh, a household member you the petitioner you're gonna file ia64 and like i say uh, the joint sponsor will file the same uh, affidavit of support as you the petitioner but the 
household member will file IA 64A. Okay, now there are some people who are not required to file IA 64 who are exempt from the IA 64. So, what you can do, uh, if you're in that situation, you can uh, write an explanation letter submitted to either USCIS or NVC letter that you are not required to file the affidavit to support. So, those people are people who can uh, prove that they are qualified for 40 quarters of work on the Social Security Act, which is equivalent to 10 years of work, okay? If you're in that category, yeah, you send uh, a letter to NVC or USCIS, let them know that you don't need to file an affidavit of support. If you are a self-petitioner, maybe a widow or uh, abused child or uh, abused spouse, you don't need to file the affidavit of support. And also children who will come to United States of America and will become a, a U.S. citizen based on the Child and Citizenship Act of 2000, those people are not required to file an affidavit of support. Okay, now one thing you have to keep in mind is that once you um, file and sign the affidavit of support, you're going to be financially responsible. This, it's a contract between you and the U.S. government. If the intended immigrant gets uh, a public benefit, well, the agency can sue you, uh, the petitioner, the uh, joint sponsor, or the household member who signed the affidavit to support to reimburse um, whatever amount that is, okay? So you have to keep that in mind before you sign the IA-64, before you sign the IA-64EZ, before you sign the IA-64A. Now that you fill up your affidavit to support form, you have to submit uh, or uh, supporting document, any document that support uh, the information you provide on your I-864 form or your, on your I-864 easy form and also on your I-864 A form. And we're going to talk about those supporting document in the next video, which is going to be the I-130 process episode number 16. Now that we talk about those affidavit to support forms, let's go in front of my computer so I can show you exactly how those forms look like. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how those forms uh, look like on uh, the IA64, IA64EZ, and IA64A. So you come to Google right here. Uh, you you can just uh, go to the browser and type uh, USCIS.gov, uh, okay? And then uh, that will bring you to the page. Make sure you're on the page. Uh, this is the right page right here. And then from here, you click on Forms, okay? When you click on forms, you will see this on uh, page, and then you click on all forms. Okay, when you click on all forms, that will bring you to this page, and from here you can just tap on uh, IA64. You see, I already tap it here. You tap IA64, click on search. That will bring you to this page. Okay. So here you see we have on uh, the IA64 link, IA64A link, and also IA64. Uh, easy all right so here what we're gonna do you're gonna click on let's click on IAC4 itself so that will bring you to this page and then here you will have a link out for the form okay this is if you want to download the form this is here what you're gonna download it from it this is the instruction form you read through this first before you fill up the form like I said there is a plenty plenty there are plenty of videos on YouTube and show you exactly how to fill up the form IA64 and then uh, and make sure you go through the instruction forms uh, that will show you uh, how to fill up the form step by step okay and then once you click on IA64 here, here is the form right here this is the form right here IA64 you can see the form IA64 you will see the expiration date and then um, let's see this is the form got the whole form here okay so this is how the form uh, looks like a uh, 64 form all right now let's move to another form let's move to i a 64 uh, easy so for i a 64 easy same thing you come over here you can just uh, you can just uh, type a 64 that will bring the whole thing uh, up just like I show you and then here we got IA64 easy you click on I don't know if you can see the link yep this is right here you click on it that will take you to this page this is the form okay like I said you can fill up the form on, on the 
on your computer print it out and sign it or you can print it out and uh, fill up and sign it and date it okay now this is how the form looks like and also if you you make sure you read the instruction form the instruction uh, on pdf and before you start filling up the form that that way you know exactly on uh, what you do you know step by step and then uh the last on form is going to be ia 64 a we're going to do the same thing we're going to go back uh let me see here yo we we'll go back uh, to here form and then we we'll click on ia 64 a when you click on that that will bring you this page this is the form ia 64 a this is how the form looks like you can see the expiration date is right here you know i forgot to show you the expiration date of um, uh, a64 easy but yeah you, when you look um look at the top or on right uh yeah top right or uh, upper right ones you will see the expiration date okay and then uh this is how the form looks like make sure you fill up the form completely sign it and date it all right so yeah, those are the three forms and I just show you quick on uh, how to uh, you know download those forms, where to find those forms. So if you have any question, let me know. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys love it. Learn something from it. If you know somebody who might benefit from this video, please share with that person. If you want to be notified every time I have a new video, please hit the bell. If you've been watching my video, never subscribe, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button or hit my picture over here. If you like the video, hit the like button. Once again, my name is John. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. USA Monday.